All right, it's time to work on this side of the neck and shoulder. And let's see. One muscle at a time. Time to play with some clay. So anyway, when I get this uh, neck and shoulder done, I'll cut the head off the horse and mount it on to my jig and work on the head of the horse. And that's probably going to be the last of what I do before I add the man back on. I'm going to have to finish off these legs, of course, but one step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you guys with another pitch for my instructional videos. <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you that there's a link below this video showing you the nine videos that I've got. And I'm not going to tell you that I've got a great video on how to create a horse from scratch that's listed there too. And uh, I show how to sculpt the horse fully. But I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to enjoy sculpting and let you enjoy watching me somewhat. Kind of. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you about it. Yesterday I tried using my neck mount. And I got to tell you, it's, I, I don't think it's met, meant for what I'm doing here. Because every time I roll my clay, my camera moves. And every time I reach for the clay to put clay on it, the uh, camera moves. <laughs> and so it just doesn't work for this. Um, I'm going to save that camera for... Uh, mount for when I go for a walk or something like that. Say if I go to Yellowstone and I go walking through Yellowstone Park, I'll take it with me. But it ain't for sitting still and working on a clay. All right. I'm going to keep on adding muscles to this neck. There's a lot of muscles in that neck. It's a lot, it, it's, it's probably the same structure as a human, except because of the length of the neck and it's, what it's used for is different than a human. And so, it makes it uh, different in structure of the muscles. And it is complicated. I don't think there's anything more beautiful than a horse. So graceful. So well put together. The old western horses, though, some of them, some of them could be really ugly. I saw a picture one time of a warrior. I think it was a chief of some. Can't see his name. 
Anyway, he's standing next to his pony, his uh, war pony, or his pony, and it was so small, and the neck, actually the the chin of the the horse, the bottom chin, was about right there. That was about as long as the neck was right there. That was the ugliest horse I've ever seen. The uh, Western horse was a lot different than the ones that you see in movies. They were not quarter horses, and most of the movies that you see, cowboys and Indians and stuff like that, they're riding quarter horses back then. There's only one movie that I've seen, and it was an Audie Murphy movie, and I can't remember the name of it. I think it was Tumbleweed, but anyway, he uh, stole a horse, or was given a horse by a rancher, uh, that was a cayuse, and a cayuse was a typical type of horse back then that they would ride. Now, he thought it was an ugly horse, but quite honestly, that's the kind of horse they had back then. And, uh, because most of the horses they got were probably Mustangs in the first place. So, anyway, it just, it, it's, it's a horse that was brought over by the Spaniards and they were made for living off of little or nothing and being able to climb where other horses couldn't climb. They're just like a billy goat. They were well bred. Anyway, that was a good movie too. If you don't know who Audie Murphy is, that's uh, probably the gentleman that was the most decorated of all U.S. soldiers in World War II. He uh, won the Congressional Medal of Honor and some of the top medals for from other countries, and got just Purple Hearts, all kinds of stuff. And he was just a kid. When he was in the military. Make sure my muscles align. Not that I'm too worried about it because it's all going to be covered with a blanket anyway, so. But I. Well, I'm going to have to quit. Just got a call and I got to go. So tomorrow, well, I'm, I'm not going to be, well, maybe I will be here tomorrow. I don't know. At some point, I got to go and get groceries this week. And, uh, just not sure if I'm going to do it tomorrow or not. But anyway, um, that's going to be it for now. The neck looks good. It looks like the right uh, thickness. And it feels good. And, uh, when I put the mane on it, it's going to really look, really come together. I see something I got to it just a little bit more there all right that's going to be it for today and uh i'll have to finish up on the chest uh tomorrow or next time probably monday if i don't come in tomorrow and uh Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and ring the bell. All, well, thumbs up and subscribe. I always get it all mixed up. Subscribe and ring the bell. That's what I'm trying to say.
Okay, that looks good. That's going to have to do it for now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.